Let's go. From the Larry Hanfield Athletic Training Center at the campus of Bethune Cookman University, I'm Lynn Thompson. Welcome to the BCU Wildcat Football Insider. It's year four of the Brian Jenkins experience, and Coach is with us right now. And the defending MEAC champs opened the season on the road this past weekend, Coach, in Nashville, Tennessee, with a big 12-9 heavyweight championship victory over Tennessee State. Right, right. It was a hard-fought battle against uh, one of the top teams in the nation, Tennessee State, against a great coaching staff and great head coach, Rod Reed. And I'm just happy that we were able to get out with a victory. It certainly, co uh, Coach, was a game that went down to the final play. Mm -hmm. Tremendous efforts individually uh, from stars on both sides of the field. But more importantly, your defensive unit, Coach, uh, late in the ball game, had some crucial stops. Oh, absolutely. And they did it against uh, one of the top offenses yeah. in the nation in, in, my, in my book. Uh, I mean, looking at that freshman quarterback, he played tremendous. Looking at several running backs that they had, ran hard. And then that physical get after the offensive line they got, oh, man. It just really tested us. But our defense found a way to buckle down and get the job done. Program wins, we talked about that earlier. Program wins are wins where the team expects to win because we've been in this position before. Right. That's our expectation, mm -hmm. and that's how we train. And I tell our guys, you know, always expect to come out victorious. And in order to do that, you got to train that way. So going into this game, you know, it was, our mindset was the same as every other game, and that's our expectation to win. Offensively, two quarterbacks on the night, Coach, and you split time with Jackie Wilson and, of course, uh, Brock. Waters and, and uh, both of those guys were effective, but Jackie leads the team down the field in crunch time to win. Right. Jackie is returning back to true form. You know, and the good thing about it is Broderick, you know, did his role very well, but we also have a third quarterback that you're going to see very soon, too, in, in Quentin. You're absolutely right. The three-headed monster will appear very soon. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at what the two heads did last night. Highlights from Tennessee State. Waters. Plenty of time and downfield and a connection made. He found Cleckley. Does get the snap back here and they do. Keeps left side. First down and more. Slips the running back is not going to help his quarterback Butler on hooks. It's just the quarterback in for this second series. It is Jackie Wilson. Shoots it outside this time for a pickup of six or so. Kago, who converted earlier, line drive kick, got it in there to get out of the eye. Right up the middle, here comes the blitz. Hooks, stopped by Bethune Cookman. Returnable. Big return to the outside. They send it out that way. Another completion to Jordan. Has the first down. Davenport for his first carry of the night. Stacked up for maybe a loss. He has sacked going in the wrong direction. It'll be another try for Baker. He had a big return last time. Found the hole and Waters hits the Jackson. Works this right side. And it appears we'll have another first down for the Cats. Jarkeus Fields coming in from the weak side. Like TCU expected the run and they gave it to him. Big stack on the shoulder, the first down to the 10. Some good running from that man, Ike Jackson, as he got a pass to 40 close enough. Turning up the tempo a little bit too here. Jackson 
make the stop. And here's Wilson to throw. Completion, midfield. Fake, fire. Got it to him again. Murphy working the right side this time. And another first down. At Taken out of the belly of Jackson. And Wilson will run forward for the first down. Wilson takes off. Wilson, toss, pylon, yes, touchdown. Dump off Leonard, keeps his balance, lost the football. Yes, he bounced, luckily prevents it from going any further, and now we'll have some running room. 40, 45, and on the gun, look out from behind, and they got him. Bethune Cooper leading and trying to hang on. Butler scrambling for his life. Ball came free. They're saying he was down for overtime. Godfrey. No good. And Bethune Cookman hangs on for a 12-9 win in the John Merrick Classic. Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 best list four years in a row and also has a five star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach or visit us online at richieautos.com. Welcome to my place. Come on, get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's LPGA Boulevard at I-95, Daytona Beach. At the Thune Cookman University, winning championships is truly a way of life. It's the Wildcat way. Victory is expected, and success is rewarded and honored on the field, in the community, and in the classroom. I am the BCU experience. I am the BCU experience. Yo soy la experiencia BCU. I am the BCU experience. Faith, leadership, love. That's Bethune-Cookman University. Do you want to wear what the real Wildcats wear? You can get your official BCU Wildcat team gear from the comfort of your own home online at bcusportshop.com. The official online store of BCU Wildcat Athletics. Save your gas money. Avoid the hassles in the mall. Click on bcusportshop.com and get the best in Wildcat wear delivered to you in just 48 hours. BCUSportshop.com, the official Wildcat online store. Welcome back to the Wildcat Insider here from Bethune-Cookman University. Lynn Thompson with head coach Brian Jenkins. Coach, you start the season off with a huge win, but you start the season off in terms of offenses uh, and your offensive attack by starting Brock Waters, coach, a mobile quarterback who uh, can do so many things. And, and what does Brock do? Brock drives the team down the field in scoring position, led by a great individual catch from Preston Cleckley. Uh, and the Cats get three from a freshman kicker, mm -hmm. Jonathan Cagle, early in the ball game. Right, it was a complete effort by everybody, you know, in, in, in order to, to achieve the victory. Mm -hmm. But Brock stepped in as a leader and, and, and did what we asked him to do, uh, which all of our quarterbacks can do so. And I've been saying that for the last two years, that we got three guys who can run this offensive effectively. It just so happened we called Brock's number last night as a starter, and, and then, as you know, we brought in Jackie, who was just as effective in the end for us. You also start a new package, Coach, where, where you see uh, number two doesn't get the start. In fact, he comes in 
and later on in the first quarter, two and four, your two running backs, you know, right. and let's talk about those guys. Well, we, we had to make some uh, coaching staff decisions. Mm -hmm. You know, we had some internal things that occurred with, with him and a couple other players as far as being late to meetings. And uh, so that lack of detail took them out of the starting lineup. And uh, it was just something that we had we had to do because we believe in discipline in our program. Isidore has to sit for a little bit, mm -hmm. and so does big number four. And uh, those right. guys finally get into the ball game right, uh, right at the second quarter mark. But coach, by then you've established some rhythm. Your first two drives of the night, right. down inside the red zone, you can't convert for the touchdown, mm -hmm. but Jonathan Cagle comes in and gets the first points of his career, two uh, short yard field goals. Right. And, uh, Cagle, nothing. Cagle did, did a wonderful job stepping in and taking over the field goal duties for us for that game. And I tell you what, you know, the two running backs, you know, Isidore and, and Anthony Jordan, mm -hmm. uh, once they got going, they were good too. But Kerry White started us off on a good note, which we yeah. knew he would. So we got a couple guys at, at the running back position that we feel can uh, really help this football team. Coach, 6 nothing. You can tell that uh, while we would love to get the field goals and continue to get something every time down, you really wanted two touchdowns. Right. And it shows its head. That inability to really get the big score shows when uh, Jonathan Cagle uh, mishandled a snap on the punt. Right, right. When he mishandled the snap on the punt, it just put a good football team like Tennessee State in striking position. Right. But uh, once again, like we've seen in the past, our defense bowled up and was able to keep them out of the end zone, but they still walked away with three points right. that caused them to get back into the game. Right. And coach, we go into the locker room now, knotted up 6-6, six, six, so it's a 0-0 zero, zero ball game. Right. It, it was a tied heavyweight bout, you know, yeah. going into the late rounds, and, and we were ready for it and that's what we trained for. And, and uh, we had the expectation that it was going to go down to the wire, and so we were totally prepared. We get the football moving again down late in the third quarter. Coach, a tremendous individual play by a defensive back from South Carolina, I mean from Tennessee State, right. that stops a touchdown pass in the end zone to Eddie Poole. Let me tell you, uh, it, it was an exceptional play because when the ball left the quarterback's hand, I thought it was seven points and the young man came out of nowhere. But it just goes to show you the athleticism and the type of talent that Tennessee State has throughout that ball club. You, uh, Coach, you search and you search and you search. Finally, you get the formula in the last drive at five minutes to go. and you you insert Jordan Murphy. Right. And what happens? Well, I think one, once again, it showed our strength and conditioning program came into play. It showed the great job that Mega Harrison and his staff is doing because our guys were once again strong down the stretch and we were able to go against a tough defense and find a way to punch it in the end zone. And Jordan Murphy just came in and did his role, which he's been doing since day one. Right. And uh, the end result was a touchdown, which led us to victory. Offensive player of the game, Jordan Murphy coached three big catches, including the TD mm -hmm. with five minutes to go. Jaquevious fields, right. tackles all over the field. Tackles all over the field. Both of those young men are pillars of our, of our program, yeah. and they exemplify what we look for in our student athletes. Those were the players of the game uh, as selected by the media at the John Merritt Classic, and they come home with the hardware, but more importantly, the Wildcats come home with the biggest trophy of all, a big win starting the season. We'll come back in just a few moments, and we'll take a look now at uh, some of the packages that Cat Eye Network has developed during the course of the offseason. Some interesting things coming your way as the Wildcat Football Insider continues. Welcome to my place. Come on, get in the game. In the game at Vince Carter's LPGA Boulevard at I-95 Daytona Beach. Larry Kelly here at Ritchie Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top-selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 Best List four years in a row and also has a five-star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach. Or visit us online at RitchieAutos.com. Do you want to wear what the real Wildcats wear? You can get your official BCU Wildcat team gear from the comfort of your own home online at BCUSportsShop.com. The official online store of BCU Wildcat Athletics. Save your gas money. Avoid the hassles in the mall. Click on bcusportshop.com and get the best in Wildcat wear delivered to you in just 48 hours. bcusportshop.com, the official Wildcat online store. The Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. We bring to life the dreams of student-athletes. It's our vision. 
a premier NCAA Division I conference. Our institutions are more than brick and mortar. They're built on a commitment to a dream, a commitment to educate, to inspire. Together, we are a beacon of hope. The Mideastern Athletic Conference, the dream made real. Welcome back to the Wildcat Football Insider. I'm Lynn Thompson. Here's Brian Jenkins. And you're seeing us as a, as a product of the Cat Eye Network. Uh, why don't you join and get a subscription to the Cat Eye Network because you can get inside information, the stuff that only he has. <laughs> uh, if you want to be a true fan of the Wildcats, why don't you subscribe to Cat Eye Network, log on to our website, and they'll give you instructions how to do that. Coach, you put some stuff up there with uh, Darren McCaskill and his team that everybody doesn't get a chance to see. Right, right. And I tell you what, him and his, Darren and his team does a tremendous job. And I mean, the way they work every day with the different videos and highlights and different things they do for our program is tremendous. If they want to find out, the fans, uh, you all out there, want to find out how this program works, who the characters are, and then sometimes there are some characters oh, yes. involved. Oh, yes. All you need to do is subscribe to Cat Eye Network and we'll mm -hmm. find out. As a matter of fact, Coach, here's a package now that we're going to show to our fans. Uh, Terrence. Gatlin from Cat Eye Network had a chance to have some fun on campus. Take a look. Hey, it's Terrence Gatlin here with BCU Insider. I'm here with Keith outside of the new and approved cafeteria here on campus at Bethune Cookman University. Keith, how's the food in there? The food is good, better improvement. This is my fourth year here, I'm a senior, so I came in 2010. It's a lot of better improvement, the food more better quality, better tasting, more healthier for you. So I can say it has been an upgrade within these past three years for me. There you have it, upgrade in the calf, new food, new administration. Anything else you want to say, Keith? Let's go Wildcat, Wildcat Nation. Hey, I'm here with Katrina. Katrina, what do you like the most? about the football games? Um, the football games, I love the pride that the students and the alumni have when they come to the games. You know, it's just all around fun for the whole family. I just love being there. The atmosphere is amazing. I'm here with Chelsea and Chloe Juniors here at BCU. Ladies, how's it been so far for the past three years at BCU? It has been a great, historically black experience. <laughs> It truly, um, all the transformation that's been going on has been really great. The new calf, the new wild center, the new um, student lounge is awesome. I'm having a really great time. So my three years have been great. One more year to go, three down, one to go. I'm here with Miss Jamila Collins. She's all the way from Oakland, California, all the way over here in Florida. What's it like to transition from Florida to California, or California to Florida? Um, there's not really that big of a difference. The only thing different is the weather. But other than that, there's not that big of a difference. So you like our sunshine? I love the sunshine. What about our palm trees? Love the palm trees. They're not as tall. <laughs> OK, great job. Hey, I'm here with Ian. Ian, how do you show your Wildcat pride? Uh, I definitely wear my Bethune-Cookman t-shirts, and uh, I go and support the game. I have some friends on the team, too. When I see them, I always try and give them some encouragement, you know? I'm here on campus with Mr. Matthew Hunt, BCU's own Bruno Mars. He got the skateboard, everything, the swag, and the face. Give us, give us a tune. Give us a tune. I wish I could sing, but I just want to let every girl out there know that she's beautiful just the way she is. Just the way you are, ladies. You heard it first, Matthew Hunt, a.k.a. BCU's Bruno Mars. I'm here with Mr. Lamar Riddick. Lamar, what do you love about Bethune-Cookman University? Well, what I love about Bethune-Cookman University is that everybody's a family. You can have fun at any point in the day, any time of the day. And um, also, it gives a broad view of education. So it's real fun out here, man. I enjoy it. I'm here on campus with Enos. He's a member of the Pride of BCU. Enos, how do you pregame for the football games with the Bears? 
Well, to be honest, you know, we just, we practice very, very hard work every day. And once we get to the game, we let it all, it's like a soda bottle. We bottle it up, shake it up, and when the game comes, we just let it all out. Get the crowd very hyped. Just like that. There you go, like Mentos and the coach. <laughs> I'm here on campus with my man Tevo. Y'all might remember him last year from the Army Get Up. It's a year later, and we both have gained a couple of pounds. <laughs> How's that PT going? Uh, it's going good. Fell off a little bit last semester, but it's all right. I'll get back on it. He ain't been working out at all. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Kelly here at Ritchie Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 best list four years in a row and also has a five star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach or visit us online at ritchieautos.com. Welcome to my place. Come on, get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's LPGA Boulevard at I-95, Daytona Beach. At the Tim Cookman University, Winning championships is truly a way of life. It's the Wildcat way. Victory is expected, and success is rewarded and honored on the field, in the community, and in the classroom. I am the BCU experience. I am the BCU experience. Yo soy la experiencia BCU. I am the BCU experience. Faith, leadership, love. That's Bethune-Cookman University. Do you want to wear what the real Wildcats wear? You can get your official BCU Wildcat team gear from the comfort of your own home online at bcusportshop.com. The official online store of BCU Wildcat athletics. Save your gas money. Avoid the hassles in the mall. Click on bcusportshop.com and get the best in Wildcat wear delivered to you in just 48 hours. bcusportshop.com, the official Wildcat online store. Thanks for coming back here with us on this first episode of the 2013 BCU Wildcat Football Insider. We'll be here every week with you. I will be. I'm Lynn Thompson, along with our head football coach, Brian Jenkins, who starts his fourth season off. It is indeed, Coach, a luxury to have the Cat Eye Network, and we talked about it a minute ago. Will they give you ins and outs and, and the great information that, that the true fans want? Right, right, absolutely. Whenever you got a, you know, a program like the Cat Eye Network, I mean, you can really see some things behind the scene that, you know, uh, normal people wouldn't see. That's right. And mm -hmm. the blooper reel that we see internally is is something to behold of. Oh, yes. And there's some things, some stories that will, heartwarming stories that really will touch you uh, and inspire you. And one of them uh, is the is a story of Jamal Cooper. Mm -hmm. And in my 23 years of being an athletic director coach and your years and years of coaching, mm -hmm. uh, we've never seen something happen, an injury happen, right. like the injury that happened to Jamal Cooper mm -hmm. and uh, two ruptured patella tendons on the same plate, ladies and gentlemen. And, and the only thing I can tell you is that you know about a ruptured Achilles tendon and what that can do to a player and how it takes him down. Well, this kid ruptured both of his patella tendons on the same plate in front of you, coach, and you right. saw it happen right. and couldn't believe it. Right. I, I I saw it happen and I tell you I was in total disbelief. I had never seen uh, anything like that occur. And uh, it, it was very tragic, you know, for us in our ball club. It was tragic for him because the young man was really coming along. Mm -hmm. And uh, anybody that knows Jamal Cooper knows he's, he's a very quality young man. So it was very hurtful to see uh, an injury happen to a young man like him. This defensive lineman from Memphis, Tennessee coach, uh, went down. Uh, people thought he was joking at first. Right. When you realize the severity of the injury, uh, he goes into immediate surgery right. and now uh, can make it back, right. but uh, has had to become immobile for the next four months. So right. we had to work with the uh, medical providers in the university uh, and the staff, and we decided that we needed to send him home. Right. 
for the semester to mm -hmm. recuperate and take virtual online classes. Definitely, definitely. It was something that, that you know, was very uh, heartfelt mm -hmm. because, like I said, Jamal is a tremendous person. And just to go to show you the type of person he is, through, through his tragedy after coming out of surgery, you know, me and my son and Coach Jones was mm -hmm. at the hospital. And uh, he got into a conversation with my son that was just touching. And he was telling my son about, you know, hey, that's why you got to get your education. You never know when things are going to happen. And, and that he was all right and just was encouraging my son through his tragedy. And, and, and you know, that just shows the spirit that this young man has and, and the quality of person that he is. Well, Jamal Cooper had a great send off, coach. We sent him back to Memphis. Mm -hmm. uh, you Skyped him the other night. Yes. Uh, our staff is working with him academically, mm -hmm. and he'll be back in January. Definitely, he'll be back in January. And I tell you what, he's already ahead of schedule, yeah. rehabbing. And uh, if, if I know Jamal like I know Jamal, this is, this is only a minor setback for him, and I'm sure he's going to overcome it. We're certainly uh, going to keep him and his family in our prayers. He is a Wildcat because once a Wildcat, Always oh, one, sir. and we'll guarantee you that you'll see Jamal back in the maroon and gold real soon. Mm -hmm. Now, Coach, let's take a look around the MEAC because uh, it was a big season opening schedule for a lot of folks, and a lot of folks fell this weekend. Uh, in mm -hmm. fact, uh, only two MEAC teams emerged victorious. That's Florida and m in the MEAC SWAC Challenge over Mississippi Valley and us against uh, Tennessee State. Mm -hmm. But you saw Morgan State looking vastly improved right. uh, in a loss to Army. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Donald Hill has done a tremendous job with that team. Yeah. And when I watch them against Army, you see a major improvement offensively and defensively. And, and they're a team that, that everybody better keep their eye on because they can very easily sneak up and uh, be in the lead for this thing. Uh, Ham, uh, Howard, excuse me, Howard goes on the road to Eastern Michigan leading mm -hmm. uh, at the end of three quarters, 24-10, but they lose it 34-24. Right. Coach Petty has done a tremendous job taking over for Coach Flea and keeping all the, you know, philosophies going. And, and those players evidently believe in what's being preached there because they went down and played Eastern Michigan and, and pretty much could have came away with a win. South Carolina State loses one at the end, 27-20 at Coastal Carolina. Coach Hampton loses on the road to Western Illinois and uh, Duke uh, smashes North Carolina Central. Uh, everybody else, coach, gets back in action this week. Right. So do we at home against right. Virginia Union. Well, we got, we got another uh, tough battle against Virginia Union. We know they're going to be chomping at the bit to come in and try to win this ball game. And, and we're going to prepare for them the same as we prepare for everybody else. And our expectation is to come out victorious. Well, coach, we heard it from you. That's the expectation. Now, here's our expectation for the fans. We need you there in full force. Church Community Day, Daytona Beach, the home opener. The Virginia Union football team comes in to play the Wildcats, 4 p.m. kickoff. Church and Community Day, get your tickets now. We're about out of time from this first episode, but we certainly want to invite you to join us each week here as we take you inside the Wildcat football program. For Brian Jenkins, the rest of the Wildcats, I'm Lynn Thompson. We'll see you this coming Saturday at the state.